Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So with the title you would have seen, I am going to be coloring my own hair today at home. This video has been requested a few times and it took me a while to actually sit and film today's video. The reason is because I'm not going to be using any bleach and I was waiting for my hair to grow as long as I could because if you guys can see from here on out is the older hair color which I colored back in December and from the roots you can see is my actual hair color which is like blackish with a very slight tint of brown in the sunlight but yeah that's my actual hair color so today you will be able to see how the hair color looks like on virgin hair which basically means there is no other chemical products used which is from my roots halfway through and then the rest is already colored hair now there are a quick few disclaimers which i wanted to mention before we can start this video the first one is i am not a professional by any means however i have had my fair share of hair coloring throughout the years i really love coloring my hair if you have seen any of my older videos you guys can see there are so many different hair colors that i experimented with and again that i used to do it at home myself so whatever research and knowledge that i have done when it comes to hair coloring will be in this video the second point is that in the thumbnail I have put there is no bleach but that does not mean this is like a natural alternative to hair coloring obviously it has chemicals obviously it is quite harmful however you should ensure that you have a better after care of your hair so all that i'm doing i'm just is eliminating that one extra step of chemical on my hair that's all the next point is that ensure you do like a patch test 24 to 48 hours before you color your hair if this is your first time you're coloring your hair or if this is the first time you're using these particular products and if there is any irritation or any rashes do not color your hair while coloring your hair if there is any irritation on your scalp please wash off immediately and go to a doctor or if it has got into your eyes wash off immediately and run to a doctor and the last point is that when you are going to color your hair ensure you do not wear any sort of jewelry no chains no earrings no studs no finger rings nothing at all so yeah these were the main disclaimers which i want to talk about and before we can get into the application and if you have not already then do not forget the subscribe button and the bell icon I can right next to certified whenever I upload and now let's jump right on the video So these are the things that I will be using to color my hair. The first thing is a good pair of gloves. I'm using these black ones and then a bunch of hair clips as well. And then is this hair color bowl. Actually, this comes in a set. There's one more thing that's missing. This is like a comb with a brush. This one is just a brush for mixing and the bowl, of course, and then a weighing scale as well. And finally, for developer, I'm using the 30 volume, which is 9%. This again is from Agora and uh, for the actual hair color this is the ones that i'm going to use today so the primary hair color is going to be 755 which again is from agora this is described as a medium blonde gold extra which has 60 ml of product and it's priced at 400 rupees each and the secondary hair color is 655 which is described as dark blonde chocolate gold color this again retails for the same price so the hair color and the developer has to be mixed in one is to one ratio my weighing scale stopped working and i had to use my old one so please ignore how messy it looks so like i mentioned before 755 is the primary hair color it's going to be like a base so that is what i'm going to empty it on the mixing bowl And then i'm going to add a little bit of 655 as well and it totals up to 66 grams and lastly i added the developer which should equal again to 66 grams and then i started mixing it just to ensure that there are no lumps or anything and as i kept mixing this it started looking more and more like a mango custard One other item that I forgot to mention is Vaseline. This is just to ensure that you do not stain your skin. So you can apply this on your ears, your forehead and your neck as well. I sectioned my hair into four parts, two on top and two at the bottom. And I took about an inch or two of hair and I started coloring it with my hands. Now, I personally prefer coloring my hair with my hands rather than a brush. Now, I quickly wanted to talk about is developers. Now, there are four types of developers that you get. 10 volume, 20, 30 and 40 volume. The higher the volume, the more the color will develop. However, the higher volume will damage your hair eventually 
if it's not used correctly now for global hair coloring like how i'm doing right now it's advisable to use 20 volume on the roots and 30 volume for the rest of the hair and since i did not have the 20 volume with me i colored leaving a gap of approximately five centimeters from the roots and then i colored my hair and later i colored the roots so i did this to ensure the roots were not processed for too long i hope i'm making sense so basically i did the roots but just a little later to reduce the processing time on my scalp oh i also want to talk about where i got these products so the developer and the hair colors were bought from the store called angels in chennai it's a store where you get all types of products used in a salon like from hair masks hair colors hair oil hair masks shampoo conditioner name it everything that you see in a salon you can get it including the accessories as well so these products are also available online on amazon and flipkart i've seen it there but for me going to angels is much more convenient because it is closer to my house just a few other points that i forgot to mention earlier is firstly before coloring your hair make sure that your hair is bone dry and it should not have any products on it like hair oil serum or any type of products at all so i washed my hair 24 hours hours before and i used a clarifying shampoo twice and i washed my hair and i did not use any conditioner and i just air dried my hair oh and the last thing is that ensure that whenever you're going to color your hair wear clothes which are okay for it to get stained so the towel that i'm wearing around me it is pretty old it was already stained so i was absolutely okay with wrapping it around me and then coloring my hair back in december i colored my hair exactly the same way but i used two tubes of 755 all over my hair i will insert a picture of how it looked like at that time now this time i have added a little bit of 655 just to make sure it has a little bit of that chocolatey brown color rather than a full golden brown color now i personally prefer using these types of hair color rather than a box dye the reason is because i feel these last for a longer time than a box dye for example when i colored my hair back in december until march april the hair color was pretty visible and it had that golden brown tint and then it slowly started fading but you could still see the hair color i will again insert some pictures of around that time and i do have a few gray hair as well and it covered pretty well probably until april ish i think so basically for about like three to four months my gray hair was covered pretty well so this is the amount of hair color that was left and then i set a timer for 30 minutes and i went for a head bath after that and finally i finished washing my hair i rinsed my hair first until the water ran clear and then i used my normal shampoo and conditioned my hair and here i'm just removing the knots on my hair using a white tooth comb i'm using the olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil as a heat protectant and blow dried my hair and then i switched the attachment on my dyson i really like the way how the hair color looks like because it does have the chocolatey brown color at the same time when the sun hits at a different angle it does give that nice golden tint so i have inserted the picture on what exactly i was talking about so yeah it does give that nice beautiful golden tint when the sun hits or even in indoor lighting okay so my hair coloring is done i finished washing and setting my hair but then today of all the days it is freaking raining right now in chennai raining it is super cloudy and dark right now at the moment i honestly myself cannot see the color properly because of how cloudy it is but then what i will do is if at all today the sunlight comes through or even if tomorrow then probably i will insert a video of how the hair color looks like on my mobile phone as well as on this camera as well so yeah this finally wraps up today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to the notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try and visit for you as well as follow me on my socials which are on instagram and which are on twitter as well so until then take care bye